Hey guys, Happy New Year. Welcome back. This is my first video of 2021. I hope your New Year's Eve went well and your New Year's is going smoothly. I do want to quickly sit down, spend some time and talk about content I have planned for this new year. So I did a couple of polls uh, not too long ago on my Instagram asking what kind of brands you guys are interested um, in seeing more videos of. And so here are the results. In my first poll, I asked you guys between YSL or Jill Stewart, which of the two brands you're most interested in. And overwhelmingly at 79% versus 21, you guys chose YSL. And next is Chanel versus Tom Ford. The results were pretty much split. Chanel 48% and Tom Ford 52%. Um, the raw number of votes, the count differences between the two were just very, very little. So I think that just means you guys are interested in seeing videos on both brands. Next is Viziart versus Natasha Denona. Viziart 56% versus Natasha Denona at 44%. This wasn't really a surprise because I know a lot of you guys found this channel through my Viziar Petite Fool videos. Then we have Chantecaille versus Sicily. Overwhelmingly, you guys chose Chantecaille at 65% and Sicily at 35%. That's loud and clear to me. I'll definitely be looking and reviewing more Chantecaille this year. I'm also excited to see what kind of new products they'll be releasing. Uh, I do think anything they've released so far in their makeup line is excellent, so I'm excited. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already seen my video on the new Future Skin Cushion Foundation. I will post a link above. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. It has a very skin-like finish and also extra hydration. So without giving too much away, I can basically tell you that this is a great cushion for people with dry skin or normal to dry skin. Last but not least, luxury versus drugstore brands. I know a lot of you have found this channel through my review on luxury makeup. So I just wanted to see what your appetite was for drugstore makeup, drugstore brands, um, or maybe even reviewing luxury versus drugstore and see how they compare. Uh, I've done a series of e.l.f. eyeshadow bite size palettes where I created a look, reviewed the bite size palette from e.l.f. and then I took a couple of luxury palettes that I have uh, where I thought maybe there's some similarities with the color story and shades and kind of did swatch comparisons. So I'm definitely open to doing more of these types of videos this year and I just wanted to get your feedback directly. And most interestingly, this was completely down the middle, the results. It was 49 to 51% and the vote difference was by one. So one more person voted for drugstore versus just luxury. Um, so that tells me we're pretty split on that. Um, it does give me some ideas for this year on what to do and how to incorporate some drugstore uh, products into luxury review videos. And then I wanna spend a couple of minutes talking about brands I would like to review on my channel this year that I haven't at all last year, as well as a few other brands that I haven't reviewed a lot of products last year and I wanna dive deeper into them. So first we have Chanel. I haven't reviewed or I didn't review a single Chanel product last year. Uh, I've used Chanel makeup in the past. I've used their foundation, um, highlight, I've tried their lipsticks, um, perfume, but nothing from their 2020 collection at all. Uh, I do have my eye on their spring collection. I've already seen on Instagram a few people um, have these products and they've done some swatches and reviews and it looks really, really beautiful. So uh, I definitely will be keeping my eye out for that and hopefully be able to get a soon review for you guys. And the other brand is Byredo. Byredo is a perfume cologne company. They recently opened a shop locally here. That's when I got a chance to go in, get to know the brand, and look at some of the makeup in person. They've let me know that there's going to be a large eyeshadow palette coming out this year, which I'm very excited about. Uh, once that comes out, I'll definitely get my hands on it and, and try it out and share that with you guys here. And then I also wanted to get your feedback on what your appetite is for higher end brands. So not Chanel, Tom Ford, Clé de Peau, Chantecaille, more like Clinique, 
Lancome, Fenty, etc. Uh, I have seen products come up from those brands that I'm interested in, but there's only so much makeup that I could get. And there's only so much time that I have for me to uh, do the research, try out the makeup or skincare, and then uh, create a quality video for you guys. And if there are any higher end brands you're interested in, let me know below. It helps me with my planning. Finally, for the last part of the video, I'm going to do a tag. This is the holiday tag video. I know we're in the new year now, but it is still considered holidays. We're at the tail end of it. Um, I got this idea from Julia's B Beauty. Uh, Julia is a longtime supporter of this channel. She has a channel of her own, which I will share the link below with you guys. Definitely go check her out. She does a lot of unboxings with monthly box subscriptions amongst other things and she creates really great makeup looks as well. So with the holiday tag video, I have the questions right in front of me. I'm just gonna quickly knock them out here. First question is, did you shop on Black Friday? I certainly did. Christmas cookies or candy? Christmas cookies, especially ginger snap cookies. Real or faux tree? Faux tree. Um, I've always grown up with a full tree and it's, it's just real easy. You put it up, put it away, and then you're good for next year. You don't have to go and get one more thing. At least that's how I think of it. But I do recognize the allure and wonderfulness of a real tree. White lights or colored lights? White lights. Do you get excited for holiday gift sets? I do, but I am weary of quality. So it just all depends. I think gift sets in general, because of the packaging, I'm immediately attracted to them, but I do research and see what's inside before I decide to get them. Make ornaments or store-bought. I have not made ornaments since I was in grade school. So in recent years, definitely store-bought. Do you peek at the presents or like to be surprised? I like to be surprised. Use wrapping paper or gift bags, both. I very much enjoy giving gifts, receiving gifts. Um, I kind of make an event out of wrapping gifts and trying to be creative and do something a little bit extra that's fun for me to do as well. And of course, hopefully the person who receives the gift is pleased with the wrapping. <laughs> Favorite holiday movie? Home Alone, yes. I think that's the same as Julia's answer. I think she said Home Alone, too. Lost in New York. Favorite holiday song? Silent Night? Yes. But I also really like any kind of Christmas jazz songs or jazz renditions of Christmas songs. Those are fantastic. Like the ones by Michael Bublé, I really, really like. Dress up or down for Christmas dinner. We did go out for dinner on Christmas Eve and I was decked out. I was dressed up for that. For Christmas dinner, we hosted this year and I did dress up a little bit. Um, I wasn't in sweats uh, because I am normally in sweats at home. So I guess dress up for Christmas dinner too. Do you set New Year's resolutions? I do not but I do have goals that I review on an annual basis and see how far I've progressed. They don't quite neatly fall like on New Year's. Um, I just review them, you know, towards the end of the year and make sure that any goals I add is achievable and aligned for the new year. So not quite New Year's resolutions, but goal setting of some sort. Do you stay in or go out for New Year's Eve? I've gone out in past years uh, nearly every year, but this year we're staying in. And the last one, tag people. Well, since we're at the very tail end of the holidays, I'm not gonna tag anybody. However, if you would like to do this tag anyways, please go ahead, please let me know. I'd love to watch it. Um, I will share the questions of this tag below. Go check out Julia B's video. Thank you guys. Happy New Year again. Bye.